Good afternoon, this is Gabriel Jackson, and welcome to Halacha Day number 877, Halacha Day Keeps the Yetzirah Away. And today's Halacha is in honor of Scotty Yetzirah, who listens every day from Israel. Thank you, Scotty, for listening. Scotty's the best, as well as Tom and Bobby Yetzirah, Scotty's parents. Today's Halacha is for you. Okay, so here we go. We are continuing the incredible laws pertaining to the breaking of bread and the blessing of Hamotzi. It is best to say Hamotzi on the choices bread possible. Therefore, if you have before you a piece of bread and a whole loaf, and you plan on eating from both of them during the meal, and both are from the same grain, even if the whole loaf is smaller than the piece of bread and not as pure as the piece of bread, nevertheless, say the blessing and break the whole one, because it is the choicest. There's a great story about that, not for now. Message me and I'll let you know that story. But... If they are not from the same grain, and the whole one is of inferior quality, for example, if the whole loaf is made from spelt, and the cut piece is made from wheat, even if the piece is smaller than the loaf, you should say the blessing on the piece made from wheat. Interesting. If, however, the whole loaf is made from barley, even though it is inferior to wheat, Nevertheless, since barley is also clearly mentioned in the Torah, and since the loaf is a whole one, a God-fearing person should show respect also to the whole barley loaf. How can you accomplish this, says the halacha? Place the cut piece underneath the whole loaf and say the blessing, and break off from both at the same time. If both of them are whole, or both are already sliced, and both are made from the same grain, Say the blessing on the purest of the two. If both are equally pure, say the blessing on the larger of the two pieces. That was your halacha. That was 877. Thanks for listening. To sponsor future halacha, $36. 100 for the gold. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow.